If I were to have cataract surgery today, here are the things that I would do. The first thing I would do is I would stop wearing my contact lenses at least a month before my cataract surgery evaluation. This is because contact lenses can actually alter the shape of your cornea and it can really alter the measurements that are taken to decide what lens is appropriate for you for your surgery as well as your lens measurements that determine what power of lens we put inside your eye. The next thing I would do right away is I would be very, very regular with my preservative-free artificial tears to lubricate my surface so that I get the best possible results and measurements from my lens calculations. I would probably even step up my game and use a prescription anti-inflammatory eye drop, but I would ask my provider about that before I get started. Before my cataract surgery consult, I would also reflect on what my goals are for surgery. If there are certain activities I would like to optimize for, I would think about this ahead of time. For example, I spend most of my time doing outdoor activities such as hiking, tennis, and pickleball, but I also spend a lot of time on my computer for work and pleasure. So I would probably want to optimize my vision for great distance as well as computer or intermediate vision. I would also actively research my current lens options and see if there's a right fit lens for me. Now, I hope that I'm many years out from needing cataract surgery, but if I were to get cataract surgery today, I would probably want to optimize for distance and intermediate tasks. I have had LASIK before, and I know that when you've had LASIK, you have a hard time calculating the lens for your surgery. I would want to get a light adjustable lens so that I can then customize my focal point after the surgery. And I'd probably want to set my dominant eye for distance and my non-dominant eye to somewhere in the intermediate range. During my cataract surgery evaluation, I would want to tell my provider everything I can about my eyes, which includes any history of eye surgeries. As a side note, very important to tell your doctor if you've had LASIK, PRK, or any kind of refractive surgery, because that will actually affect our lens choices and our measurements. I would then communicate what my goals are for the procedure. I would listen to and probably take notes when I talk to my provider about the surgery as well as what my options are. If my provider tells me I'm not a good candidate for a type of lens, then to me that lens would be completely out of the question. I would come prepared with questions specifically about the cataract surgery and make sure that I'm comfortable with the provider as well as the choices that we've made together. During the actual surgery, I definitely would tell my provider as soon as possible if I'm experiencing any pain or discomfort because many times we can just give you some extra numbing or more sedation and help you get through a comfortable surgery. If you're not comfortable during your surgery, that does a disservice both to yourself as the patient having pain as well as the provider who may notice that things are just a lot more difficult because you're struggling. So it is in your best interest to tell the provider if you need more pain medication, more numbing drops, or if you're just simply anxious. If I am awake for my procedure, I would make a conscious effort to look up at the microscope. Usually there are two or three lights or maybe more, and you wanna look right in the middle of those lights to make sure that you're not moving your eyes during surgery because I know from personal experience that if your eyes move during the surgery, then it can look like an earthquake and nobody likes doing microsurgery on an eye that's moving. After the surgery, I would make sure I have all of my instructions and drops readily available in case I have any questions. I would do the drops as prescribed. I would be extra, extra careful not to rub my eye. In fact, if it were me, I would just wear my eye shield all day long for the first few days. I would be very, very careful with anything that may cause pressure around the head, such as bending over, heavy lifting. I would not swim, go into a hot tub, a steam room, a sauna, a spa, anywhere there, where there's a lot of excess moisture, specifically because there are a lot of atypical bacteria, fungi, and parasites that are in our water sources. In addition, I would be extra vigilant and call my provider if there are any sudden symptoms, such as changes in my vision or severe eye pain. Last but not least, if I were to have cataract surgery, I would make sure to lower my expectations a little bit because I, I know there is no such thing as a perfect cataract surgery or a perfect lens or a perfect outcome. I would be happy with an outcome that suits my visual needs and improves my quality of life. I hope you found that interesting. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.